Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, you CISSP wannabes. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day, where each and every day I give you two questions to ponder and contemplate. I'm Colin Weaver, let's jump right to it. Question number one today, coming at you pretty straightforward. At what layer of the OSI model does IPsec operate? There's the list, it's all the layers. Go ahead and contemplate it, and let's break it down. All right, IPsec is a technology that operates at the network layer of the OSI model. Now, uh, that's just for reference and understanding what technologies are under, going on at, at what particular layers. But when you look at IPsec and how it's structured, it comes in two basic flavors. There's authentication headers, which is going to provide you uh, data integrity services. And there are also the encapsulating security payload, or ESP, which provides you confidentiality services. And each of those is designed to allow you to be able to take anything that's part of the TCP IP protocol suite that's above uh, the uh, IP above the basically anything you know whether it's ICMP or TCP or UDP uh, and provide either the confidentiality or integrity mechanism for it and uh, then package that stuff up inside an IP packet. Now there's a lot of variation and nuance that can be talked about outside the scope of this question but for right now uh, as, as it relates to the OSI model the most appropriate answer of where IPsec works is at the network layer. All right here comes question number two uh, kind of involved uh, for convenience and cost savings, you want to go in and create a connection between two sites and you want to use the internet as the mechanism to create that connection. However, you want to create a situation where users at each one of these sites are able to seamlessly and securely access resources from one site to the other without having to be aware of the fact that uh, these sites are being connected across the internet. Of the following options, which one would you say is the most appropriate way to go in and make that happen? Give those options a read, click pause if you need to, and when you're ready, we'll break it down. Okay, the first item on the list says that you go and use an SSL VPN in order to join those sites together. That is generally not true. Um, SSL VPNs would be fantastic for providing users uh, remote connectivity back into the office uh, for selected applications that you wish to make available for them. But if you're talking about making entire sites available to one another, SSL VPNs are not the way that we do it. Option number two, TLS encrypted desktop sharing. Um, while it would certainly allow for the ability to interact with resources that are somewhere else, it's not how we go in and connect sites together. So that is also not the choice that we're looking for here. Third option is the one that you're looking for, an IPsec tunnel, an IPsec VPN tunnel between the two sites. Uh, if you were to go in and do a quote unquote tunnel mode IPsec VPN between the devices at each one of the sites, you could go in and create an encrypted channel communication that goes across the internet and then you have defined routes that specify uh, what's on the other side of those endpoints between that tunnel. And then as the data passes through that tunnel, it will be encrypted for its journey. Uh, this will allow the users uh, to seamlessly access the resources that are in one site versus the other uh, when they're trying to get their work done. So that's absolutely the answer that you're looking for here. All right, to break down the other options that are on this list, it says you could go in and use a GRE tunnel uh, between the firewalls at each site. Uh, while that's not completely out of the question to go in and do, uh, the real kicker on this is that GRE does not provide any confidentiality services natively within itself. Um, it would require something else to be done. And the question said that you needed to be able to seamlessly and securely connect between these devices. And an IPsec is a better solution than GRE in that regard. And then the final option on the list says VRF routing with a protocol that supports strong authentication. That's just there to sound fancy and, and distract you. It has nothing to do with connecting sites to one another. Uh, VRF is all about going in and having multiple routing tables running simultaneously on a router. Uh, and strong authentication in a routing protocol, like for OSPF or EIGRP, would be fantastic. But again, it does not pertain to this question. All right, there you go. Two more questions down. First question was real general in terms of the layer at the OSI model in which uh, IPsec does its thing. Um, and then the second question was, is if you're going to go in and connect two sites together and you want to have it be um, going across the internet and have it be seamless, transparent to the users so that they can access resources from one site to the other, uh, a tunnel mode IPsec VPN is a great solution to go in and make that happen. Uh, hopefully you dug these questions, found them helpful, hope you can study is going well. And uh, if you like these questions, click on like. If you want to get them every day, click on subscribe. That's it. See you tomorrow.